Hi, it's Victoria Rose here. I uh, wanted to pop in and ask you if you liked my makeup. Do you like it? <laughs> yes, my lips are super chapped. <laughs> Today is just another gloomy, rainy day, but I'm making this intro for a different video, but I wanted to show you my makeup and have a reason to do that. So here it is. Voila. Also, I got something delivered to a convenience store, which you can do that here. You can get stuff delivered to any type of convenience store because they're open like 24-7. So I'm like, cool. So I'm going to go pick it up and show you what I got. Today's video is... I'll insert what I'm doing right here because I still don't actually know. Insert. We're going to a maid cafe. Oh, what kind of maid cafe? You'll have to watch and see. Okay, I got it. I took off some of my makeup because I didn't want to look a fool. <laughs> But I already looked full there because they couldn't understand what I was saying. I'm like, um, I showed them the Amazon thing. Like, I have a package here and I couldn't find the right email because the email was in Japanese, so I didn't know which one I needed to show them. And they got this other guy to come up and he's like, oh, why don't you sign up for the, the uh, English Amazon? I'm like, I, I thought I did. I thought this was that. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know. This is what I got. I couldn't find this in a store anywhere. It is a mini uh, hair iron. I want to use to kind of curl my bang area. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna look good or not. And I couldn't find it in any stores, like a miniature one with like um, a small curler. Cause I only want like little curls. See, this will give me like nice little curls. And I want something, I wanted something that could be good for traveling. It'll probably not go how I expect. I'm gonna try to do this in the mirror because this is really hard in on a camera. Not exactly the best look. Now it kind of just looks like a, I have a mullet or something. I want it to be cuter and, I, and the only technique I can figure out how to do is this. What I feel like I'm totally going to like burn my hair off. I don't know. I'll practice with it. It's new. It's new. I'm working on it. Nope. Aren't I beautiful now? Oh, yes, gorgeous. Alright, let's uh, move on to this next scene. Okay, so there's a little market thing going on behind me there. But I realized I found out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna meet up with someone. Finally, it's been. I haven't met up with like anybody here since I've been here really much. And so I'm gonna finally make a friend. Hopefully, we'll be friends. And I got a soy protein latte. I'm walking to the station right now. I'm gonna to go to Akihabara and maybe go to a maid cafe. That's a tentative plan, but it might not work. So we're gonna see. Hopefully I get there on time. This is heavy. Super heavy. Super heavy. Kind of heavy. Kind of heavy. Light. Uh, I forgot my tampons, so content. You guys like this. I know you do. I'm trying to get rid of all my guy followers right now, so. I think we'll go with this one. Okay. I'll just like film from a distance. They're like covering their faces up. Okay, so we're just gonna pick um, a cafe yeah. that and suits us the best. I don't know, which um, girl do you think is the cutest? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna pick which girl's the cutest to go Can in. Like or actually, we, sh we should, oh, there's a ninja one. So there's maids standing out and they're handing out flyers everywhere so all we have to do is choose the one where we want to go in. I actually used to play like old games. This is a, um, a vintage arcade case. This is Erica. Comment below if you guys have ever played like vintage games like this. Me. Help me jump. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this together. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing? I think. <laughs> Oh, this is for duck hunt. Yes. Yes. Guys, who has done this before? See, as a child, I was super conflicted about playing duck hunt because I was super against killing things. I'm just like, I don't want to do this, but bang, bang, bang. So the maids all stand outside and try and get you to come into their specific cafe. We chose the ninja one, but there are so many different types of maid okay, cafes. So we chose our cafe. Thank you. We chose the Ninja Girl Cafe. We thought that would be coolest. We have to take care of the time. Mm -hmm. Because it means 100 yen Hi. plus one drink order, 700 yen. Hi. Hi. Ninja live performance show. No, Ninja touch. No. At the youth camera, your camera, Ninja take photo. No. Can I take um, video of uh, place? Uh, uh, the area, okay. Yes. Ninja take photo? No. Yeah, but if I can you pay to take picture with Ninja? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So please wait here and then the so now the lighting performance. I oh, can't invite a ninja for a date. So after being overly enthusiastically greeted, you could buy a drink and you have to buy at least one drink, which the price range from like seven to nine dollars. We're gonna go to the cheapest route here and just buy the drink because we're already paying only a hundred to be here for 30 minutes. We have to keep track of our time. I don't remember when we first came in. So we ended up paying 100 yen for half an hour, which is around a little less than a dollar, and it's 600 yen for men, if in case you want to know. They didn't really allow filming, but I did film a little bit, and they gave us these wooden things with our names written on them. Please, okay? Yes. Overall, it was a very interesting experience. They did a lot of singing and dancing if it was ordered from the tables, and we just sat and watched. It was cool, and I'm interested to maybe go to more maid cafes. Okay, so we just got out of the Ninja Maid Cafe. We got a little gift right here, and it was only actually uh, like it equated to like eleven dollars, which wasn't too bad. And we had to get out after 30 minutes, so I wasn't able to get a picture with one of them, but it's okay because we saved money, and that's what's important. <laughs> Something I would like to do with you though is go and take Purikura. What's that? Uh, Japanese photo booth sticker. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna go to a Japanese photo booth right now and take some pictures. <laughs> We then went to a really cool arcade and I saw that they had free rental costumes so I'm like, we gotta do this. You have to! Oh my 
Yeah. You, we have to. We have to. <laughs> this particular place was in the Sega uh, building in Akihabara, but they have a lot of. I'm not probably saying that right, by the way. They have a lot of photo booths around Japan because it's such a huge, fun thing to do. And in this one, they had free costumes of like anime characters and Pokemon and all that that you could just borrow for free and then go into the photo booth and take your pictures. We then went into the photo booth, touched the screen, did some stuff, I don't know what she did. They allow for a lot of cute editing afterwards if you want, and they can be sent through email. As you can see, you can edit the heck out of these pictures. Like my nose is 10 times smaller. It makes <laughs> you, you look weird, but really kawaii. You can also share them with your friends. You get two different copies. Oh, and I guess photos and videos are not allowed here. So don't do that. In case you ever want to go to these, this is an Akihabara, which is Tokyo's electronic city. The photo booth, we did the uh, maid cafe, and now we're going to look, try some sake. Um, I'm gonna make a whole sake video, maybe after this one, or maybe a couple videos after. But stay tuned for that because it's gonna be super exciting. Um, this is gonna be a small taste of what you're gonna see in that one. Sumida River. Yes, yeah, Sumida River. Okay, so now we're gonna try some sake. So cool. Yeah, I know. So this is sake in a vending machine, the only one in Tokyo. Yeah. You can get sake in a vending machine. I feel like this should be a whole nother video right now. So this is fine. It's a square cup. You wanna get a shot of the bottle then. And he's gonna do it in the llamas over there. It's a square cup, what? <laughs> This was in Sumida City, Sumo Wrestling City, and he was just showing us the drinking game that you can play. All of these hold different amounts of alcohol, and whatever you spin is what you have to drink. Yeah, it's big, so you have to fill it up, and that's a lot. <laughs> so you cannot put it on, so you have to drink it only in one go, one okay. big shot. Okay, and this normal shot, just a normal shot. So it's the big one. I see, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you should do at a party. Yeah. Yeah. egg. <laughs> so he brought us egg, which was really nice. With ginger. Okay, so I just got back from hanging out with Erica and it was a really good time. One of my next videos is gonna be a, a complete sake video. So I didn't want to show too much of that yet, but I had a really, really fun day and I hope you guys enjoyed today and hope you guys like my adventures. Comment below which of the three things you guys liked the best or enjoyed the most. So stay tuned for the next video. I love you guys very, very much. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see ya in the next one. Okay, bye.